people, my name is Megan. I am a student at the University of Finley studying occupational therapy and today I am going to show you how to create a weighted blanket or a weighted lap pad with materials you have around your home. The deep pressure of the weighted blanket helps to create a calming effect and it almost feels like you're being hugged. This blanket will help to reduce stress and anxiety, improve your focus, can help with pain from different diseases like fibromyalgia, reduces symptoms with restless leg syndrome, and it can help boost your mood. The supplies that you will need will include Ziploc baggies, and I will be using nine to make a three by three lap pad, but you can make that bigger if you'd like. You will need scissors, a measuring cup, duct tape, and rice or bean. The first thing that I will be doing is I will be measuring out one cup of my rice and placing that into my Ziploc bag. And I am going to do that for all nine of my Ziploc bags. So now that I have nine Ziploc bags with a cup of rice in each one, I'm, I'm going to make sure that there's no air in the bags and I'm gonna make sure that they are completely sealed. And so now what I'm going to do is now that they are sealed, no air, I'm going to fold the seal part over and lay them down side by side. Then I'm going to take my duct tape here. I'm going to cut a strip off that will be long enough so that I can lay it on each of the three bags. So here's what it should look like. So I have just placed things on the ground just to have more space and to show you what I'm talking about. So each are now taped. This is my lovely assistant. <laughs> He is very concerned right now. He is like, what are you doing? Once you have it positioned as you want, you're gonna go ahead and cut strips, uh, vertical strips here, and you're gonna place them um, in the seams. And you do not have to have yours stacked as closely as mine are. I am just doing that because the material that I'm going to be putting the blanket in is um, not that big and I want it to just be like a lap pad. So, that, so right now you should have two strips going vertically and that is what is holding it together. You are then going to put two strips horizontally to hold these pieces together. So I have now flipped it to the back and I am going to put pieces of tape. Uh, there will be two vertically and then two horizontally. So now that we have our seams in place, we are going to cover both sides completely with duct tape. What I'm doing right now is I am cutting strips and I'm putting one vertically and then one horizontally. And this just kind of creates a weaving pattern, but you do not have to do it that way. So what I am doing is I am placing one vertically and then I'm placing one horizontally and it kind of makes it look like it was woven. It's covered, it should look something like this where you're not seeing any of the plastic or any of the rice or anything like that. At this point, you could be done. You could place it, wrap it around the blanket and then place it on your lap. You could also put it in a pillowcase. So what I've done is I just quickly sewn something together because um, I love polka dots and I like this material. It's nice and stretchy, but you could use literally any kind of material you wanted, like fleece, or you could even just grab a pillowcase. And now I'm just gonna place my weighted blanket into the pillowcase. So I have now placed my um, homemade rice packets into the sleeve of the two pieces of material I quickly sewed together. What you could do if you also wanted, you could sew the rows so that each one is like puffy 
and it just looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing but you absolutely do not have to do that and I am just not going to for time's sake but you now have um, a weighted blanket it's very easy to make